Hey guys, I'm Alex Hooks. This is Mark Mann. We're Complicated Things. Taylor Cable and Clamp. Thank you. We'll see you upstairs. In our last episode, we showed you the actual pieces of equipment we use so clients can participate remotely during the pandemic. In this episode, we're gonna show you this broadcasting system in action. We're gonna have our talent and hair and makeup come on set, and our clients from the West Coast are gonna get patched into our broadcast. So now we just gotta get set up for a shoot. All right, all right, all right. So we're all set up for a shoot. We have two broadcast cameras in place. One is in our hair and makeup area, so our remote client can give feedback on styling, and the other is on set, so the client can watch the shoot and make suggestions while Alex works. Alex will be photographing our model today, and I'll be back here managing our capture. I've got two Dell Precision laptops set up, one is managing the tethered capture and the other is for video conferencing. I got a switcher box set up that allows me to switch between different inputs. So this controls what the client sees. Right now, I can show them what's going on in hair and makeup and what's going on in the set. Also, I can show them what Alex is shooting through the tether machine. So today, I'm going to watch the capture and manage the broadcast. Let's talk about some of the costs involved in this remote broadcasting thing. First of all, our setup comes in about $7,000 and that's just for the remote broadcasting. I realize that sounds pretty pricey, but it makes sense for us. If we were to rent the same equipment, it would cost around 700 a day. With the amount of work we do, it just makes sense for us to own all of this. The good news is you can absolutely build your own remote broadcasting system for far less. You just need whatever is the best and most effective setup for you. And we really do recommend building some kind of remote kit, especially if you're struggling to find new clients right now, because having remote broadcasting capability ups your game and allows you to find new clients even outside your geographic area. Now, in terms of our kit, our highest priority is making the shoot go as smoothly as possible. We're using 6K cameras to broadcast to our client. That's way overkill. But we own these cameras and we use them when we make our videos. We're using really inexpensive glass on our broadcast cameras, so we're not too worried about banging them up a bit. We can fit all of our different parts of this setup, minus the tripods, into a single hard case. So it's just one box, it's easy to move around. Operating the kit should be so simple, you can do it by yourself or just with one extra pair of hands. So Mark just paused the shoot because the client wanted us to see a slightly different look. So Courtney's offset, getting into a different outfit. If we hadn't had that client giving us that information on the fly, we would have had to spend a lot of money to change the color of our outfit and post, spend a lot of money on a retoucher, and this is really going to simplify everything. I hope we showed you that working during COVID is not easy, but it is possible if you have the right tools. Having a remote broadcasting setup is hugely helpful in executing all kinds of productions safely and efficiently right now. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you learned something and check back soon for much, much more. See you soon.